As a city, we're poised to remember on this first day of November, the day the inconceivable became achievable and our championship dreams again believable. The Cavs brought it home on Father's Day to no one's complaints. The Indians had the potential to do it on the Feast of All Saints, exercising the demons of Mesa and Calavito thanks to the managing genius of a skipper named Tito. LeBron gave us a title and a championship mural, but the tribe has the chance to make the championships plural. A two-title town is a stuff of renown. Yes, it's been done by cities before, but not since the Red Sox and Pats in 2004. Francona again the common denominator between these two storied franchises. A role as champion and administrator we hope he reprises. Cleveland actually was once a two-title town when the Indians and Browns both won a crown in 1948, the last for the tribe. So wouldn't it be great to finally inscribe on the commissioner's trophy the name of this franchise and silence forever the critics we've grown to despise. The Cubs story is epic. We get it. We know. But a loss for them will only allow it to grow. The Indian story is just as compelling. But here's another sign that might be foretelling. The 70-degree weather sends a message as loud as our drummer. This title is poised to be won during an Indian summer.